Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the great pleasure of meeting with Steve Weinberg. He's the author of a wonderful new book called Above Quota Performance. Welcome, Steve. Thank you, Gerhard. What made you decide to write a book about something that um, sales managers are having nightmares about, which is making quota? I was in sales and sales management uh, for a long time. Actually, I took an interesting turn in my career after being a sales manager for about 30 years. Yeah, I decided when I was nearing retirement that I wanted to go back into being an individual contributor. And I really enjoyed it. And I was very successful. I closed the largest deal in the company's history. And then uh, I retired because I got to the age where it was time to retire. And I thought, what, what can I do to help the struggling salespeople? More than anything, I saw the negative consequences of what happened when people didn't reach quota. It's a startling number. I, when I first started writing the book, I thought, well, this number is going to be around maybe 25, 30 percent, maybe at the most 40 percent. But all the research I saw, they put the number anywhere between 48 and 55 percent. Now, that's an amazing number. I started looking at the human consequences of it. What happens to the people that don't reach quota? At the very least, companies will put them on a plan, which is a gentle way of saying, you know, you're you're on a plank and you need to perform or you're off the plank, right? It's like a, like a pirate on a ship. So you have a, a gun to your head. You have to close business in a short amount of time and very few people can all of a sudden turn on the switch and make that happen. The best case is they're unemployed and they have to look for another position. The worst case is I've seen divorces. I've seen people lose their homes. So I thought, well, if I can impact that number and reduce it, wouldn't that be a great thing? Wouldn't that be a great legacy for me to do that? What I found was that a lot of the practices that people promulgate today are really obsolete. When I saw the training that was given in the last few years, I thought, well, this is just, it's wrong. Steve, can you describe uh, two or three uh, skills or techniques or strategies that uh, can help sales? Sure. Teams? One of my favorites is, to, is objections. When you have a sales training class, there's usually a day or two days on how to handle objections. If they say this, then you say this. If they say that, you say that. And then let's have some role plays to see how well you can do this. And my idea is totally the opposite of that. My idea is to welcome objections and even seek objections, okay? If you're not hearing them, there's something wrong. Maybe you don't belong there. Maybe that's one clue. Maybe they're not really buyers and they're just being polite. And this is one way to find that out. So what I'm suggesting is, that at the end of any meeting or any call, you say to somebody simple questions like, is there any reason why you wouldn't buy from me? And then when they voice the objections, don't fight them. Say, okay, I, I hear you. Okay, let's see. You think our price is too high compared to the competitors. Let's, let's look at that. Let's analyze that. First of all, is it an apples to apples comparison? Okay. And what features and things really matter to you? You'll find out by asking for objections, you'll find out what they're thinking and what, what is preventing them from buying. You want to uh, uh, use the objection as a starting point for an exploration of the reasons for and against buying. It's information that the salesperson can use to determine their strategy. What would be another uh, tip that you want to share? A lot of times the salesperson would come into me as a sales manager and I'm doing the account review with them and I'd say to them, you know, where are you in the account? How's this going? He's, oh, it's going good. Okay, when, you know, when do you think it's going to close? And the answer is, well, I don't know. And I have found that most buyers are non-confrontational and they don't want to give bad news to you. So what do they do? They avoid it. And they have a conversation. And you say, all right, Mary, you know, how are we doing with the project? Oh, everything is good. Okay. Uh, when should I call you again? Well, Mary, you know, you can call me again in a month. So the what you're case saying case is, is that salespeople need to set a goal for every call um, where there are specific action steps, uh, where they are clear uh, and where the buyer is clear 
about what the next step will be. Right. And you need to receive feedback. Yes, we like what you have. Yes, I'm going to take this to our executive director. Yeah. All these things, all the buying six steps, they need to be happening. If they're not happening, you're not winning. Well, it sounds like a wonderful book, Steve. And uh, I'm glad that you shared your expertise as a sales leader, but also as a sales performer, but also as a a sales educator helping other salespeople achieve their performance. So I want everybody that is listening right now, head over to amazon.com. The book is Above Quota Performance. It's also available at Barnes & Noble. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Steve. I appreciate your you're, time. You're welcome, Gerhard. Gerhard.